Stay tuned to Giant FM for your chance to win some Santa cash. 614, take it easy out there this morning. Allow yourself extra time if you're just planning your day. Uh, put five minutes aside or maybe even an extra 10 minutes to get to where you're going today. So, Recorded Ching, where did we leave off? Last time we talked to you, were, you were flying off to the Carolinas to uh, do a test in a race car. How did it go at Racing 101? It was good. It was a really great experience. Um, unfortunately, while we were there, we were battling a bit of rain. So when we got to the track, the track surface was wet and we had to take some evasive maneuvers to dry it off before we could get out there and test. But we did end up getting in a couple good laps of testing there. I tested with Brandon Atkinson, a fellow classmate. And uh, it was a good time. I mean, the car was different and the track was different, but we got a feel for it relatively right away. And uh, we had to be a little careful off turn four because there's a little bit of water there, but... But overall, it was a good experience. What did they sing about it, or did they give you an evaluation that will come to you later? Yeah, throughout the day, he sort of worked with us on our lines on the track and just sort of, uh, uh, I guess, evaluated what we were doing as we were going, giving us a chance to correct anything that we might have been doing wrong. And then he was just watching to see uh, how well we listened to his advice and what he was telling us to do. Did you follow it fairly closely then? Yeah, I think so. I think I did a really good job there. Uh, I liked the track, actually. I want to go back there and race against some guys on it. That was not all. You went to the evaluation at Racing 101, and then you had to go to a trade show in Florida. How did that all take shape, or was that planned before? That was planned before. We dropped my dad off at the airport. He didn't come with us to Florida, but he did come to the test. So when we dropped him off, I think it was 4 in the morning, and Anna Marie, that's uh, one of the teachers in the in the class, we drove up to Florida, which is about 8 hours. And on the I-95, which I'd never been on that road before, and it's just straight and flat and nothing to it. It was quite a long drive out there. Right. I think that one actually links New York City. It goes up up and down the eastern seaboard, so there must have been a ton of traffic on it. Then. Yeah. Well, early in the morning it wasn't so bad, but as we got through the day when we hit Jacksonville, we, we got into a little bit of rush hour. What happens at the trade show then? That's when drivers go and see what's new in the racing industry and that? Yep, drivers and anyone interested in the products, they had a whole, they call it machinery row, so they had like CNC machines and all kinds of, like, you would never even believe all the machines they had there, and then they had um, chassis manufacturers there, they had springs, every every component on a race car had a few, one, if one or not, like three representatives for each, each component. So. If by chance your career keeps going up and up and up, though, it does show you how much it's going to cost to get into at a better level, right? Oh, yeah. Well, money's always the factor, but that's why we have to thank our sponsors all the time, uh, Snap-on Tools, Aaron's, and Ainge Automotive, my dad, who's been so helpful this year. It's been a lot to put in your head at one time. So much going on because you're still taking your welding course. You've got to be at work here at 6.30, so I won't keep you any longer. Is there anything else you wanted to tell people that are that are following your career, Sarah? And just let us know what you're doing for the next few months leading into the next racing season. Yeah, the next few months are just going to be filled with uh, sponsorship proposals, trying to get companies on board. We're really working to make the next two NASCAR Canadian Tire Series races out west here. So that's our big push for next year. And and other than that, just plugging away with our media and keeping everybody informed. What will people see when our race fans go out to watch you now? Are they going to see a different Sarah Cornet Ching out there or not? Are you going to stick to pretty much the plan you've been using for your race strategies? Yeah, race strategies are always the same. Stay consistent throughout the middle of the race and win at the end. That's always the same. <laughs> Thanks. Good to see you and good luck with what you're doing in the next few months. And stay in touch with us for sure. Thank you. Yeah, and do drive with care. Sarah Cornet Ching following her progress taking the Racing 101 course in the Carolinas, trade show in Florida, lots happening for sure. This song kind of sums it up, I think.